And welcome back to the Crochet Crowd, as well as Yarnspirations.com. I'm your host, Mikey. Today we're going to do the perfect crochet play rug for kids. And this is an awesome little kitty cat rug. And I'm going to be talking about today's pattern and also showing you some of the techniques involved for making this beautiful little rug. So here's a picture of the play rug all up close and it's 35 inches from one side to another and this is really super cute. Of course you can change the colors to match your particular kitty cat if you have something in mind and you can also change the color of the eyes. You just have to have different colors of Bernat blanket yarn. So you're going to notice in the pattern that it's calling for two sizes of crochet hooks. We have a 10 millimeter size N and we also need a 8 millimeter size L. So what's going to happen here is that the main face plus the back end of the ear, so not including the interior of the pink, is double stranded. So you're using two strands at one time to create the ultimate thickness of this baby blanket. If you thought it was thick, put two together and it's ultimately really thick for a great play rug. Now the wonderful thing about this pattern, it's pretty straightforward. You have some triangles to play with. So it's pretty awesome. So the triangles are very similar to each other. And then you have circles. So you have the face, of the entire face is a circle and then you have the pupils as well as the main white of the eye. That's all just round circles. Very easy to be able to maintain. The only one that's slightly different is the nose with having a rounded uh, triangle nose and that's really cute. Now the whiskers and the mouth area here is all just chain work then sewn down onto the project and again you can make that decision how you want to highlight. Maybe you want to look like grumpy cat. That's completely up to you. So let's without further ado let's go look at the pattern instructions on the page number two and we're just going to flip and you will notice that there is all the instructions. So you have the ears, you have the inner ear, okay that's the pink area, you have the eyes, the pupil and the nose. So you should know that the ears on the exterior of it, okay the brown area and the brown face like so is double stranded. So you have double thickness and then everything else, the inner ear, the eyes and the nose just like this is just all one single strand. So once you get all that done, you just have to lay it down on top of it and just eye it up and how you want to sew. And I'm going to cover some sewing techniques at the end. Now you will notice that I do write on my patterns and I'm going to be talking about that as I hit them. So without further ado, let's start off the main face area, the main circle and I'm going to show you how that works and then you're going to uh, be off to the races from that point. So let's begin doing the face. You're going to need it N or size 10 millimeter crochet hook in order to play and then we're going to start off in the in the very center of the face and work our way out. There's an incremental increase to get this thing to lay flat as you're going around and our goal is to get 12 double crochets in a row in each uh, segment. So there's going to be just visualize it like it's 12 pieces of pie. So our goal is to get 12 and I'll explain that as we hit that. So what's going to happen is I'm going to get you started and I'll show you how it's increasing and then I'm going to leave the rest of that face for you to complete and then we're going to move on to doing the exterior of the ears. So without further ado grab two strands of Bernat blanket yarn, your N size 10 millimeter crochet hook and let's begin. So off camera I have two yarn balls coming to my hand and I'm going to put them together and treat them like it's just one strand. So whenever I operate it, it's always going to be as one. So you're going to take both strands and just treat them like they're one and create your first slip knot. And insert your N or size uh, 10 millimeter crochet hook into the slip knot to begin. So we're going to create the center um, um, circle and to do that we're going to chain four. So just one, two, three and four and you, all you're just going to do then is that you're going to insert the knee or the hook into the first chain like so and then yarning over pulling them through and through to create the center ring of your blanket. Just pull your knots a little bit tighter and then we're going to begin our first round. So let's do that. So to begin you may have a hole in the center of your rug. Don't worry about it. Your nose is going to go over it if you don't, if you <laughs> have that problem. But you can always sew it shut with the same color of yarn too if that's too much open for you. So let's chain three and that counts as a double crochet and what we're going to do is that in the center of this ring we're going to put in 11 more double crochets. So just put this straggler like it's part of the ring and just bury it as you go and just double crochet. You'll want your tension to be nice and loose with this. So don't be um, too tight with anything in order to get this to work. It gets a lot more complicated in your hands if you are too tense about it as well. 
So just continuing to go around in the circle you're going to double crochet a total of 11 times. So the chaining of three counts as one of them. So when you go to count this you should have a total of one, two, three and four. So you should have a total of 12 going all the way around. So without further ado I'll meet you and get your 12 done. When you get all the way around you're just going to slip stitch it to the top of the first chain three that you'd started with. So just going in and pulling it through and through. So you should have a total count of 12. So you're kind of noticing it puckering a little bit. That will settle down and you should be able to count 12 all the way around and I've already done so off camera. So let's move on to round number two. Round number two we're going to chain three which counts as a double crochet and that's gonna count as a double crochet each and every time we do it on this face as well. And you're gonna come into the same spot where you did the join and you're going to double crochet one more time. So in round number two every double crochet that you have is gonna have two double crochets added to it in the top. So just make sure that you're just taking your time and your tension will follow in line with you and so every stitch will get two and this will open this circle up even more. So put two double crochets in each and I'll see you at the end of this round. When you get back around there should be 12 groups of two and then you're just gonna slip stitch. So make sure you count. Now some of you may think oh geez there's a big gap right here. I still have to go more. That's where you're gonna go wrong. That's part of this original. So once you slip stitch to the top of the first chain three everything will come back and balance just like you see. So it's starting to get thicker. So let's move on to round number three. So every round from this point right to the end of the face is going to be the same where we're gonna do an increase every time we go to start. So we're gonna chain up three. One, two and three and then we're gonna come into the same one where you did the join and you're going to double crochet again. So that puts two into that first one. So on this round what we're going to do is the next one that's available to you is going to be one double crochet by itself and here's the repeat pattern for the remaining of the circle. So the next one is gonna have two. So two double crochets and then the next one gets only one. So what we're gonna do for this entire face as we go is that the next round what's gonna happen is that there'll be two in the first one and then two by itself and then two in the first one, our next one and then two by itself. So in this round it's two into the first one, one by itself, two and then one and then you carry on. So your goal at the end of the face is have 12 single crochets sitting by itself and then two into one just like that. So that's how we're gonna do it. So um, keeping on with this pattern the next one has two and then the next one gets one. So carry on with round number three in the same fashion. So as I come around on round number three, so I just put in two here and I have one stitch left and it should just be one double crochet sitting by itself. So then I know it's right because the first one started off with two into the first one. So you should still have that balance as you go all the way around. So let's move on to round number four. So round number four we're just gonna incrementally get bigger and we're gonna keep doing that as we get to our 12 single our double crochets that sit by itself. So we're gonna chain up three which counts as a double crochet and right in the same join we're gonna double crochet again. So round number four we're going to put two sorry round uh, two double crochets by themselves. So there's one and then you go to the next stitch and that's the second one by itself and now we repeat the pattern. So the pattern repeat then is the next one gets two double crochets into the same stitch. Okay and then the next two are by themselves. So continue that same fashion all the way around and I'll see you at the end of this round. So now I'm just gonna join to the top of the beginning chain three. So this is how it's gonna end up and this is really quite neat. So I'm gonna leave the rest of this with you. So as we move up to round number five you're going to chain three and one double crochet into the same one and then there's gonna be three double crochets that are sitting by themselves and then two into the next and then three by themselves and two in the next. And you keep moving up until you get to the point where there's 12 double crochets but sitting by itself. Okay, so you're gonna continue to get bigger and bigger as it grows out. So once you get that done then you can fasten off and then you can move on to the ears. So I'm gonna leave the rest of this for you. You can see how it's uh, growing and you can also refer to that in the pattern too. So without further ado let's move along to doing the ears. So let's move along and do the ears. You need to make a total of two of them and they are a true triangle just like you see here. So this is also double stranded so it's extra thick and it's really kinda neat. So we're gonna do the outer ear first 
Okay, so you need to make two of those and then we're gonna do the inner ear which is similar to how the outer ear is done. You will notice that I would have written instructions here. I put the number three. I said two together equals three and then you see a check, 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 check as I did it and then single crochet equals four and then check, 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 check and I'll explain what I'm doing with that in order for you to stay in balance because it can sometimes get easy to confusing where you are on the triangle. I also did that with the inner ear which I put two together equals two, single crochet equals three. This is the row numbers by the way two and three and this was three and four is the row numbers and then check, 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 check as I did it. So without further ado let's grab two strands of yarn and let's begin to working on your triangle. We're gonna start off in the base and then we're gonna get smaller and smaller so as you work your way up it's gonna get quicker and quicker for you to do. So let's do the other ear. So let's begin to do the ear and leave a long enough tail that you can hide that in afterward with the darning needle if you wish. And create a slip knot using both strands again together. It's double thickness day. <laughs> so let's uh, begin. We're going to chain 18. Remember the one on the hook never counts as one and we're going to do 18. So one, two, again be loose with your tension, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, and eighteen. So there's my starting chain just like so. So what you have to do for row number one, second chain from the hook. So count back. So go one and two, turn that chain over, get the back hump only and I want you to single crochet yourself all the way across that chain. So just single crochet. Once you turn over to the first back loop, the rest of the back loops will stay turned up for you. Okay, so just a single crochet on the back loop for row number, uh, row number one and join me at the end of this row and I'll get you kick started on row number two. So coming along I've done now the single crochet along the chain and I'm gonna turn my work. And we're gonna start up on row number two. This is not the repeat pattern yet but it will be uh, soon. So we're gonna chain up one and then each one of the single crochets are gonna get another single crochet to build this up one more time of just going straight up from the actual top or the beginning of the year. So just single crochet in each stitch going all the way across for row number two. So row number two it came back all the way and I did a single crochet. So let me take you back to the pattern. I wanna show you what to do now because we're gonna start going into the triangle formation next. So now we're gonna continue into the triangle formation. So rows number three and four will be a repeat until we get up to the point of the ears that you see. So rows number three we're going to do single crochet together on both end sides of, the, of it. So we're gonna start coming in and then just single crochet the rest of it across. So both the start and the end will be single crochet together and then in row number four is just one single crochet in each. So this is what this was over here. So I put number three, that's the row and it's two together. So it reminds me to put two together in the first stitch and in the last stitch and then this is just single crochet in row number four going all the way across. So as I did it I did a check to make sure that I stayed in balance. Sometimes it's easy to forget if you just did a single crochet uh, together in the last row and sometimes we just forget. So it's just easier to check that off as you go. So let's review rows number three and four. So let's start off row number three. We're gonna chain up one and we're gonna put the first two stitches together. So you insert the hook into the first stitch, pull through and then go into the next one and pull through. You end up with three loops on your hook. So yarn over and pull through all three. So the two beginning just became one. So that's two together, a single crochet. Now you're just gonna continue to single crochet across the line until you get to the final two stitches that are left on the other side. So just single crocheting together or sorry single crocheting in each and all I'm doing is looking for the end. So that's what makes these ears quite easy as you go to do these ideas is that you don't have to count you just have to look for the end. Okay so I'm almost to the end. I can tell that because I can see three left one, two and three. So I'm just gonna come in next one and then the next two are together. So one and two. So going into the first one, pull through and go into the next one, pull through and then pull through all three. And those just became single crochet two together. So then you, you turn around and you go for row number four. So off camera what I'm just doing is I'm circling that I just did this one and this two together so that I can keep count and in row number four you're just gonna chain up one and it's just one single crochet into each across. 
So every other row is the together and every other row is what I'm doing right now just one into each and this allows it to gradually build that triangle shape that is really quite pretty to look at. So let's continue this and what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna have you continue to do a repeating of rows three and four until you get to three um, single crochets at the top of the year and I'll meet you at the top of that year and I'll show you how to put those three together. So I will kick you off just one more time of just a repeating on what row number three is. Coming to the edge. Okay, so that was completing of row number four. So turn your work, you're gonna go back to row number three. Off camera, I'm circling that I just did that one so that I keep the, uh, keep count of that. So the chain up one and the first two become together. So you go into the first stitch, pull through, go into the next stitch, pull through and then pull through all three loops and so two just became one again and you will notice that the triangle formation is starting and you're just going to single crochet yourself across and then the final two stitches are what I already showed you of going two stitches together. I will take you there. I might as well. I gotta go there anyway. So after this row it's just gonna be one single crochet into each and then you, the next row after that is exactly what you're doing here. So the goal is is to get three single crochets just sitting at the top of the ear that will sit by themselves. So the last two stitches that you see are gonna be two together. Okay, and pull through all three loops, turn your work. So off camera I'm circling that I just did the row to three again and then this one here is just chain up one and then one single crochet into each. So please do that all the way until you get to the top of the ear where you're left with three single crochets. Okay, once you get to the top of the ear, you can see it's a perfect triangle and now to do the uh, top of the ear, you have to just, just chain one and you gotta put three stitches together. So one, two and three, it's the final three and you're gonna come in and pull through. You're gonna go to the next one, pull, pull through. And you're gonna do the final one, pull through. There's gonna be a lot of yarn on this, on this hook and you got four loops, one, two, three and four and pull through all four and you, and just then pull through that last one. Okay, and that concludes the top of the ear. So what you wanna just do is just take this ear and you wanna trim both of your strands. Okay, and you wanna pull through. So what you're gonna do is that you're gonna put this into a darning needle and weave it in. Let me show you how to do that before I continue. Now you got a child rolling around on this mat. You don't want any loose ends. So just one at a time, just put your uh, yarn onto a darning needle and just weave it in just going in the stitches. Use a nice sharp um, needle here so you, that it gets stuck. So going in once and then going in the other direction twice and then coming back in the other direction three times. So make sure you don't warp it or anything and because you're going in and out and this is a really bulky yarn, it's easy to get lost in there so that you never have to see where the ends are falling out. So once you get three in there, you can just trim that out and then just safely put the other one on. Okay, and it's amazing how much this does compress when push comes to shove. You can get it into a small needle like I just did and again, same thing, I'm just going in and you're gonna wanna do this with all your loose ends that you have so don't think it's just the ear. So one, going back in the other direction for two and then finally coming back in the other direction for three. So I want you to do that every time you have loose ends to work with and uh, this is kind of a neat idea. So when you're ready for this and you have the face done and both of these ears, you can then sew these ears here to the end of the circle. So let me just show you quickly how to do that and then I will carry on from that point. So I'm going to show you how to sew this together. I'm just, I haven't done the whole face. I'm just, I don't need to. I can just show you exactly um, the steps involved and you can do the leg work in order to complete the entire mat or rug on your own. So what I've done is that I've created a slip knot on the other side of this. It'll be much longer and say this was a completed circle. Okay, all you're just gonna do then is just start off the one side of the ear, just match it to the circle that looks close like the photo and just bring it through and then insert the needle through that slip knot on the other side and pull everything nice and tight. 
So you, all you're just gonna do is whip stitch it. So you're just gonna move along to the next stitch available to you and move along to the next stitch here on the ear and just continue to bring it through. This loose end you can use and hide that in later. So just wrapping again towards you coming into the next stitch and going into the next stitch. This is called whip stitching and you just continually do that for this. Make sure you do use the same color yarn too because you can really hide that in quite nicely. So we did this on the snuggle sack series as well on this concept. Once you get all the way to the end you're just gonna uh, end of your ear then you're just gonna fasten off to just coming in in your work. This is great yarn to hide any imperfections on and just create it so that it creates a knot like so. And then remember that little secret of going in and out three times. Okay, so one and back in the other direction for two and three. So you can tell I haven't uh, done the whole face at this point but the seam is almost looking like it belongs. Like when you look at it from this perspective it looks like it belongs. So that's uh, the whole goal that you would like to do when it comes to that. Then what you're just gonna do then with that starting strand here just insert your needle in if you left it short like I did and then just pinch it and insert it into there. I would probably recommend you leave that a little bit longer to avoid the inconvenience of what I'm doing right now. And pulling it through and then just pull through and you're just essentially just dragging that tail underneath the work. It's in and you can get rid of it just like that. So that would be how you sew on. So the technique of actually sewing on the other ear onto a towel. I'm gonna show you a different technique then for that and we're gonna start the inner ear next. So let's begin to do the inner ear. So the inner ear is smaller than the outer ear obviously and what's gonna happen is that we're gonna go to a triangle much quicker. So on the pattern I wrote two together and then I wrote single crochet. So two together was row number two and single crochet is row number three. And again I just did a check off. So once this is actually shorter than the, the original ear. Okay so it's gonna get uh, quicker. It's gonna get shorter quicker so therefore it'll be much smaller. So without further ado let's start off with the pink. You're only gonna use one strand this time and you are only gonna use an eight millimeter size L. So now that we're finished the double stranding we now remove down to a smaller hook from this point. So let's do the inner ear and this is just one strand eight millimeter size L crochet hook. So we go to a smaller hook so you'll see it gets easier to operate as well. You're gonna chain only 14. Remember the one on the hook that you start out with doesn't count as one. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen. So row number one, second chain from the hook. So just count it back. So one and two, turn it over, get the back loop only. And I want you to single crochet along the entire chain in the back loop. Okay, so you're just gonna go all the way across and I will meet you at the end of this chain. So I'm at the end of the chain and I'm gonna turn my work and let's go back to the pattern and I'm gonna explain what to do there. So for the inner ear it's gonna start off in row number two. We're gonna do two together as you see right in the first stitch and in the last stitch to create that triangle and then row number three it's just one single crochet. So like I did before with the big ears and just did my checks as I went I did it up here. So as I check off I go so that I remember which one is the single crochet row and which one has the two together. So we're gonna do that for now is row two and three and I'm gonna have you continue that until you get to the top of the ear until there's three left. So let's do row number two. We're gonna chain up one and the first two stitches become together. Okay, that's two together. We already know how to do that and then it's just one single crochet in each. So now that you've gone from two strands to one you'll notice that this is easier to crochet and it's a smaller hook too which is easier as well. So the final two stitches of this row is going to be two together. This is row number two. So you got two stitches left and those two become together. So that was row number two. So I'll check that off on my list. Then I turn it around and then row number three is just one single crochet in each. Okay, so just one going across. If you can remember that uh, which rows you're on when you're doing it you don't have to check it off on your list. I just find with myself I do get distracted. 
So just one double crochet in, or sorry one single crochet in each. Okay and now turn it around. So we're gonna go back to row number two. So chain up one and the first two become together again. And then we single across until we get to the final two. So you can see it doesn't take much time to do these little accessories that go on. And then the last two are together on this one. And then we go back to row number three which is just one single crochet in each. So please uh, continue to do rows number two and three until you get six single crochets left at the top of your ear and then I'll meet you back there and I wanna show you some tips at that point as well. So this is rows two and three. So please do that. So just a few moments ago I left you and now there's only three left at the top. So you chain up one and the top three become together. So pull through the first one, pull through the next one and the final one like so and then pull through all three and then through there. Now when you go to trim this I need you to trim enough yarn that you can sew all the way around this ear to the other ear. And what I want to do is just leave enough yarn to do that and then trim it and then just pull that strand all the way through like so. So what we can do is that we can sew this to the other ear when you're ready to do so and let me show you the sewing, sewing techniques for that. Now the trick to sewing these kind of ideas to each other is was like what we did in the snuggle sack series. Some things are best left that you don't go all the way through a project and this is one of them for sure. So I've left enough strand on the in, on the ear here that I can go all the way around. So you can attach your ear to your piece and then do this afterward as well. So you're just gonna go straight down into the project but what you wanna do is just glide into some stitches on the other one and then pop back out. I do not want you and you should not go all the way through this project. So just pulling everything. So if you see any stitches on the back here you know you've gone too deep. So just coming back in and then just get some strands. Okay just kind of pick at it. Okay and then come back out. You wanna put it in enough that a child cannot peel this off but you don't wanna go all the way through the project. if you know children can be children. They can pick up the rug and throw things and honestly do you really want it showing on, showing on the back? Especially if you give this as a gift for somebody in a shower they're probably gonna hold it up and the back of it will have all that sewing marks if you've decided to do it like that. So what I want you to do is that I want you to go all the way around this ear just like that and again nothing is showing on the back and when you get to the other side just tie it up and just go in and out three times and then this will be fastened right directly to the ear. Okay so please do that for your inner ear and we're gonna move on to the pupils next. So as we move along to the doing the eyes both the inner and the outer eye just like so are the same pattern. The difference is that the pupils stop one row earlier, one round earlier. How you sew them on can be up to you. I could actually see a blue eyed cat here too just for the fun of it. So you can use the same color because you already have it and what we're gonna do is that I'm gonna start off and I'm gonna do both of them at the same time meaning that the instructions for one of uh, the outer eye and the inner eye are the same and I'll tell you where to stop for the pupil and where to continue then for the right remainder. Once you sew this on you stretch it out and then here's what it looks like here. So you can stretch it out and then you have the, the outer eye like this and then you have the inner eye like that. You can just just kind of just sew it into position that makes sense for your kitty cat. So let's uh, continue and like let's make eyes. To do both inner and outer eye, eight millimeter size El crochet hook just one strand of yarn. Outer eye is with the off white, inner eye is with the pupil color that you prefer. So what, let's begin. We're going to start off with the slip knot and we're going to begin to chain four but do not make it a circle as usual. So one, two, three and four and what I want you to do is in the beginning chain I want you to double crochet nine times into that. So the chain that you just skipped over counts as one of them so there will be a total count of nine double crochets going around the circle and you're just gonna do that. So if you wanna count that off you can. So let's do that anyway because it's small. So I got one chain. So that's one, two, three, four and five and six, seven, 
eight, nine, and ten. So there's nine double crochets and that first chain counts as one which gives you ten. So just slip stitch to the beginning chain that you had started with. So now we're gonna carry on and we're gonna move up and the next uh, round for both of them is chain three which counts as a double crochet and into the same one that you did that join you wanna double crochet one more time. So each double crochet is gonna get two double crochets in this round. Okay, so put in two into each going all the way around. Now if you're doing um, this is for the pupils, okay, this is where you're gonna stop on this round as we finish that up. That's how fast this is. So it's gonna be one double crochet or two double crochets in each going all the way around. So I've just come up all the way around and I'm just going to join it to the chain three. So if this is the pupil, this is where you're gonna fasten off. Leave an extra long strand just like I showed you with the ear technique of sewing it. You will sew this directly to the white of the eye not all the way through the project. So if you're carrying on and you wanna do the whites of the eyes next, that's one more round and let's do that. So we're gonna chain up three, one, two, three and one double crochet into the same one and then there's gonna be one into the next one by itself. So where have you noticed how to do that before? That's like the center of the face, or isn't it? So it's like the main face itself. So the next one has two into the same one and then the next one has one and then the next one has two and you will continue to do that. So just make sure it's in the off white color if you go to do this. So this is how you do both of the inner eye and the outer eye. I'll meet you at the end of this round. So as they come back around the last stitch will be just one by itself keeping in count and then you just slip stitch to the top of the beginning like so. So then you'll just fasten off, leave an extra long tail here and this will sew down to the, f to the actual face. So this, pretend this is white because this is the outer eye for the exterior. Okay, so this is the outer eye. It's just done in a different color because it's the same stitch work and then you're just gonna sew the inner eye which will be white in here and again you can stretch things out like once it's sitting down on top of um, the face you can stretch it out and you'd have a good time with that. So let's uh, cover the nose and let's uh, continue with that first. That's quick and easy. So the nose is actually more of like a rounded triangle shape just like you see here and you leave an extra long tail there, tail so you can sew it onto the face right where you want to right in the center point and then have it coming with the point down like so when you go to sew it on you can see it there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off in the, as a triangle getting bigger to smaller and then we're gonna circle all the way around and we're gonna do that next for the nose. So grab your pink and L size crochet hook and eight millimeter. So let's create the nose. We're gonna start off with a slip knot. Remember it never counts as one. Eight millimeter size L crochet hook for that one. You're going to chain nine. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So second chain from the hook, count it back. So one and two, turn it over, get the back loop only, just like before and you're gonna single crochet yourself all the way back across your chain. This nose is really quick, just so you're aware. You're gonna get this done in no time. So single crochet back along the chain. So that'll be a total of eight single crochets for those interested in knowing that. And it also I believe says that on the pattern as well. It does. Okay, so this is exactly like this was before when we're doing ears. We're just doing a much smaller triangle and it's gonna finish off real quick. So the next row we're gonna chain up one. So this is row number two and we're gonna single crochet the two beginnings together. So two together come and then we're just going to single crochet across and then the final two are gonna be come together. This is row number two. So the last two are here, one and two and put those two together. Like that. Now you're gonna turn your work and it says do as the second row which is the exact same what it just did. So chain up one and put the first two together. Okay and then the next ones are gonna be by themselves and the last two will be to come, be come together. Like so. And then you're gonna turn your work and then it says chain one and sew to, uh, single crochet two together twice. So chain up one and put the first two together and then the next two together. Just like that. And then you wanna turn your work, chain up one 
and put two, the last two together. So there's your triangle but you're not done. It doesn't look nice and rounded, right? So let's uh, continue along. We're gonna do the fifth row and working our way all the, oh, sorry, we're gonna do the sixth row which is the edging all the way around. So now we're gonna work in a complete circle going all the way around. So you're gonna chain up one and in the top one you're gonna put three single crochets in there to help it turn the corner. And you're just gonna work down the side and then just put one single crochet along each each of the, the rows. Okay and then once you get to the bottom, that's the last row here, you're gonna put three single crochets. So one, two and three and then you just keep turning your project and come along the base and I'm bearing this other tail in as I go and you're just single crocheting in each. And then what do you think I'm gonna do when I hit the next corner? It's, that's right, it's, it's three single crochets. So three single crochets. So one, two and three and then you're gonna come up along the side back to where you started. But remember when you started you put three single crochets in right away. That means that you're at the top of that point. So you're just gonna come up and this is the last one here and then you're just going to join it with the beginning single crochet that you started with which is part of that group of three. So like before you're going to fasten off now and you're gonna leave enough yarn strand that you can sew this down to the face and again don't go all the way through the face just stay on the top layers and just bury it as you go. So just kind of pull through and then you can sew that to the top of the face as well. So let's bring back the pattern for one final review. So here's the precious kitty cat. So we've reviewed on how to do the face. We've reviewed how to do outer ear, inner ear. We've done the pupils and we've done the nose. What are these? These are just chains. So those are the whiskers that you see. So the mouth here is done with two strands of yarn at the same time. Okay and you're going to chain a total of 30 just like you see. So the 30 is going to be coming up and around and then the other chain of 15 okay is going to be this other section right here. Okay and you're gonna sew it down just like you were here. Just coming down on top of the layers. Don't go all the way through. Then what you're going to do is four sets of whiskers. So two strands again together and each whisker is made up of 12 chains. Get that done and then just sew it down all the way and you will do that for a total of four of them. It's one, two, three and four. Again if you wanna put any other characteristics the sky's the limit. The creativity is in your hands and this is it for now. So until next time I'm Mikey on behalf of Yarn Inspirations as well as the crochetcrowd.com. Enjoy your, your perfect crochet play rug. We'll see you again real soon. Bye bye. <laughs>